and uh, yeah, the cup is back because it has been a minute, so welcome back to the candy factory. Boy oh boy, has it been a while since I've chatted down, ch sat, sat down and chatted to you guys. Look at me, I can't even talk to the camera anymore. I'm out of practice. Anywho, I know the situation is looking horrible today. But that is why we're here because we are going to fix it and I'm so excited to sit down and film a video for you guys again because a lot of you have been reaching out to me, you were saying that you miss my YouTube tutorials, you miss me talking to you guys and today I'm bringing you a new hair tutorial using a new tool that has just launched. I almost lost it when JHD emailed me and they were like, listen Candy, we want to send you a JHD contour machine. Is it something you would be interested in? Inside, I'm going... <laughs> it was a pretty dramatic moment. <laughs> but I emailed them and I was so excited to work with them again. Especially getting this tool, the contour machine. If you don't know what it is, a while ago I went to go and visit them and Natasha did the style of me with curls and then it's got the contour at the bottom. I'll put the picture up here so you can have a look at it girl. And you guys literally freaked out. You all were like, oh yeah, bring the crimper back. Well, GHD has brought it back. And I mean, even if this is not something you would use on yourself, which I'm actually sure you will because there's so many styles to create, including today's one. Uh, your children will love it and if you even don't have children, your nephews, your cousins, someone will absolutely love this. Because girl, I haven't seen a crimper since I was 10 years old. And I had my hair crimped for a Grease Lightning <laughs> concert at school. And um, yeah, I was just, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's just get into the <laughs> Okay, so let's jump into some information around the new JHD Contour Crimper. Um, JHD was inspired by uh, the catwalk trends because they see a lot of the 80s coming back and you can definitely see that with makeup as well like bright colors, blues, glitters, that sort of thing. P.S. Glow on Netflix was so cool. I loved it. I'm obsessed with the 80s again. So they got inspired by a tool to create instant volume and texture and if you didn't know you can actually use this tool without someone knowing that your hair is crimped because if you crimp your hair underneath it gives a lot of volume and you just like straighten the top hair so it's volume girl without teasing it has got the advanced ceramic heat technology and multi-dimensional plates with a JHD contour machine you can obviously add depth and bold texture to any look so it will instantly enhance your shape and volume and it's really suitable for all hair types the optimum styling temperature for the JHD contour is 185 degrees so it will give you the best results while still keeping your hair healthy and not damaging your hair. The JHD contour heats up in 30 seconds and it also goes into automatic sleep mode in case you left it on. It comes with a 2.7 meter cable and it's also got the round barrel so your cord don't get all twisted up. With your JHD contour you also have a 2 year manufacturer's guarantee and here is the grip. Part. GHD has been so kind to me and they gave you guys a coupon to use online so you can order your contour and actually get 500 off so I will link it up here for you guys to see but without further ado let's jump into today's tutorial I want to show you a nice style obviously also on my Instagram what style you guys wanted me to do and you all vote for the loose curls with the crimping in between so I'll be using my JHD gold today as well and if you wanted to read up more or like learn more about this JHD I'll link the video up here so you can click it and watch it but without further ado let's jump into doing something to this hair start by just um, taking this mess down so the first thing I'm gonna do is divide my hair in three sections so I'm gonna do one two three big sections so let's get okay. then I'm gonna divide the second part it's gonna go just above my ears and back 
brush it out. So this is the second day here. I washed my hair yesterday and kind of just blow it that a little bit, not dead straight. So I still have some of that volume because I do have natural curly hair. And the first thing I'm going to do is just slightly put a soft wave in the bottom um, in the bottom section because this section shouldn't be too curly in the photo you can see it's not like she has a ton of volume and it's a very soft wave it's not like curls really so I don't want too much volume at the bottom so basically I'm just going to divide this section into two like so and I'm going to take about a third of this one so I'm going to clamp it just twist it at 180 pull it through quickly just so it has like that little bit of a it's not really a curl or anything like that clamp 180 pull it through quickly and there we go 180 quickly just pull it through and there we go nothing special but you have like that little bit of a wave not too hectic. So I'm going to do the other side as well. So now the first main section is finished. I'm just going to throw this back. So you can see it's just like textured. There's not really much going on. <laughs> okay. But this part is the part that we're going to focus on. Okay. So I'm going to use, uh, take out my second clip. And this is my second section. I'm also just going to divide this into two. I'm going to start with this piece on this side. And I'm going to just section off the back. Like that. I place my GHD in from the top. Twist it 180. 360. And drag it down. So it kind of curls around the GHD and it gives you this sort of vibe. So you want to leave it like that because we are going to loosen it up later and dress the curls. But for now, we just want it to sit like that so you have that um, style that sits into the hair and the hair doesn't drop. Then I'm going to do another section. And this one, I'm going to twist. Uh, outwards like so and then I'm going to do one going in again so twist it in oops and around drag it down so the hair kind of slides up the JHD as you pull it down and gives you like this really nice wave and then the pieces in front up away from the face drag it down and this last piece I'm going to do outwards as well. Okay. Okay, so now both sides are done. The next thing I'm going to do is start working in my top section. And here, I'm going to take a small piece. That kind of like around the area that we just worked in. And section that off the hair and now I have another section on here and the rest is like a thin section that I'm going to contour I'm going to take this piece over here grab my contour machine press it close to the root area Woo! girl I'm so excited about this Okay, obviously I need some more practice because I missed some bits, but it's okay, you know, I've done this, like, the last time I did this was when I was 10 years old, so 
Come on, give a girl a break. <laughs> but okay, that's basically the idea. So let's see if I can do a bit better with the next section. Okay, that one was way better. Don't you think? Okay, that was way better. <laughs> Okay, so now we kind of have a bit of curls and waves at the bottom and we have some of our crimped pieces over here which we are still leaving as is. So then for the top section, obviously my hair kind of goes to the side like this. So I might end up crimping a bit more on the side and at the back. But I'm going to start at the back and I'm going to divide this piece into two sections and kind of just call this same um, technique we used earlier let it fall on that side okay on this side where my fringe is gonna fall to I'm gonna take a small section and curl it away from my face that and then this one also away from the face like so and then on this side where my parting is I'm gonna take smaller sections like way smaller and curl it away from the face as well using the same technique we did but just curling smaller sections because you kind of want that crimp to peek through your little sections because if you just do a big section um, this won't come through if that makes sense okay. Ooh, already it's looking like something I'm going to take another small section and also curl it once again away from the face and then I'm going to take another small section. As you can see, this part will be curling. And this part I'm going to crimp as well. With my contour. I actually love the fact that they call it a contour machine. It's so like modern and new. So even though it crimps, it's a contour machine. <laughs> And then we are going to start curling this section. So now you can kind of see the contours peeking through the little curls we did. But obviously this is not the finished style because, yeah, gotta dress it. So I'm not going to use a comb or anything because I don't want this to be too like brushed out. So I'm kind of just going to take my fingers and run it through my hair until I'm happy with the way that it looks some of these pieces and just pull them through like that and then I'll take like one or two sections and put like one or two crimps in them even though some of the hair is curled it will just give like that extra texture And define the look a little bit which I'm obviously obsessed with it looks like you have little feathers hanging in your hair I don't know I don't know if I'm the only one that sees that so then you're just scouting your hair for little areas where you can put some more contouring in and that is basically it you have got this beautiful style of some curls and some crimping in between really adding texture and I think it's such a cool look like I love this part over here where it's like crimped and then it cools out 
And also the nice thing is that when you feel your hair, it kind of feels quite thick. It feels like there's a lot of volume, which is really what this tool is going to give you, um, especially when you're doing upstyles and you're lacking volume. This is going to be great to create like the texture and for big plaits and that sort of thing. So I absolutely love the new JHD Contour tool and I hope you guys like it too. Remember to give it a thumbs up, of course, if you do. Let me know if you want to see more tutorials because obviously the possibilities of doing hairstyles with this tool is endless there's so many nice things that you can do but I'm feeling quite sassy with my textured contoured hair and um, I hope you guys learned something and yeah from me to you I love you guys so much until next time you must stay sweet I'll talk to you soon